There are a lot of tools out there you can use for free to enhance your content, including Snappa. Have you heard of Snappa? Do you know how it works? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Michelle Downey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining this series about free tools you can use for your affiliate marketing or your online business. Please remember to like and subscribe, and please remember to also stay all the way to the end because I do have a free gift for you. How does Snappa work? How can you use it for your business? Let's get started. Snappa is very similar to Canva. This is another design tool that you can use to create thumbnails, to create YouTube banners, to create YouTube outros. There are a few differences though between Canva and Snappa. If you're not sure what Canva is, then please make sure you go to my playlist on free tools so you can see the demonstration I've done on Canva. To access Snappa, you need to go to snappa.com. You'll see where it says, get started for free. That's where you want to click to open an account. Like other programs to open an account, you'll need an email address and a password. You'll then have to tell it that you're not a robot and go ahead and click on get started for free. You should then see a screen like this where there'll be all different kinds of designs. You're going to click on the type of design that you want to create. For this demonstration, we're going to use a thumbnail banner. And this is where I'm going to show you some differences between how Canva works and how Snappa works and why in some instances, Snappa is the better choice. You'll be able to scroll through and see the different types of designs that Snappa has to offer. We're going to find the one that says YouTube banner, and then we're going to click on start from scratch. You can also use one of their examples. And just like Canva, once you choose one of their examples, it's really there just to spark your creativity. You can change every single element on there, and we're going to go through that as well. When you click on YouTube banner, you're going to see this screen. And this screen is really important. Different people will view YouTube in different ways. On a TV, on a laptop or a desktop, or using their mobile device. You'll notice, you'll notice the gray area on the top says TV only. Then you'll see on the sides where it says desktop. And then in the middle, that white area, that is mobile users only. More and more people are using their smartphones or mobile devices in order to access content on the internet. So the white area is where you want the majority of your information. For an online business, this banner is valuable real estate. This may be the only thing somebody sees in order to get an impression about what kind of channel it is, what you're going to offer, what your content's going to be about. So you do want to make it very interesting and very engaging and also a bit of fun. Now that you see the different areas that you're going to use when creating a YouTube banner, I'm going to show you some YouTube banners that are being used by very successful people on YouTube. These are people with thousands and thousands of subscribers, if only, if, and possibly a million subscribers. So it's really good to see these examples and what we want to copy when making our own YouTube banner. For example, here is the Think Media YouTube banner. Think Media is a company that specializes in teaching people how to use YouTube. So you'll notice that their banner has a lot of elements having to do with content creation. They also have their logo, which is very prominent. And there's also a button in the bottom right hand corner. This is where YouTube puts the button. It's always outside of the mobile area. It's going to be in the desktop area. When you're uploading your banner onto YouTube, you're going to get the option to have a button and also what the button is going to say. And we'll talk about that later on in the demonstration. This next one is Jessica Stansberry. Jessica Stansberry is an online entrepreneur. She also does classes on how to use YouTube. And you'll notice from her YouTube banner, it's very fun. That is definitely the image that Jessica portrays. That is part of her brand. And you'll notice that you get an idea right away of what it's going to be like to interact with her. 
This next one is Beloved Woman. Now, Christine Patterson is a online entrepreneur who does women's Bible studies. This banner you'll notice is very plain, but it still gives you a very good impression of what her channel is going to be about if this is all you were to see on your screen. This next one is Dr. Eye Health. His target audience is anyone with an eye. <laughs> he is an eye doctor who gives advice about your eyes, about vision, about different products. And again, by looking at that banner, you are very clear about what his channel is going to convey and what kind of content you're going to see. This last one is Rock Hill Farm. This is also a very fun, in a way, YouTube banner. This is a gentleman who runs a farm. He does demonstrations literally daily of what he's doing on his farm. And by looking at his YouTube banner, again, not a lot of words, it's all images, but those images are very powerful and you're very clear about what his channel is about. So your YouTube banner is very much a part of your brand. It's very much a part of figuring out who your target audience is. And when your target audience sees that image or sees the words on that banner, are, is that going to engage them to want to go ahead and look at your videos? So take this YouTube banner very seriously. As you are creating the YouTube banner, the first thing you should do is upload any photos. Up on the top, over to the left-hand side, you'll, you'll see where it says Uploads. You want to click there, and then you'll see where it says Upload Files. In one of the former videos, I give a demonstration of Paint 3D, where you can remove backgrounds from photos. This may be an opportunity to use some of those photos that you removed the background of to make them part of your YouTube banner. You want to look for very fun photos of yourself, something that's engaging, something that wants to invite the person to go ahead and look at your channel. Find those kind of photos, something that demonstrates something about your personality. Why would they want to look at your channel even further by looking at your YouTube banner? So go ahead, grab those photos and download them onto Snappa. Once you have your photos downloaded, over to the left-hand side, you'll see where it says backgrounds. Snappa has some preset backgrounds, which you can choose from, or you can just choose to go ahead and put a color in as your background. If you looked at my YouTube banner, you'll notice that's what I've done. I've got a plain color, and then I've put text and pictures over that background. The way that Snappa works is it considers everything a layer. So your background is your first layer. Your next layer will be pictures. Your next layer will be text. And that's how it will go ahead and figure out when you want to delete something, what you're pointing to. It'll be based on the layer of what that image or that content is that's on the screen. You've gone ahead and chosen either a background or a color. Next, it's time to add some of those elements. And they have loads of elements to choose from. Even though this is a free account that you've created, they are gonna let you choose everything that you can see. One of the limitations with the free account is you only have so many downloads per month. So that's what you wanna look at. It's really important if you're using the free version that you try to get everything right that first time or maybe that third time so that you don't waste the number of downloads you have in order to make some changes. You'll notice here I've chosen the background and then over on the left hand side, there are different effects you can do to the background. I'm just going to go through each one of them so that you can see what those effects are. From contrast to saturation to brightness to the U. There are loads of choices you have. Have a very clear idea in your mind of what you want your banner to look like so that it's a bit easier to transfer onto the page. Again, this might be an opportunity to spark your imagination, but because you're limited on the downloads, you want to try to get it right the first few times. Next, you want to make sure that you add information about yourself, whatever your logo is, what is the channel name called. Make sure you put that in this white area where the mobile device users are going to be able to see it. Or if like Rock Hill Farm, you're just going to use images, make sure all of the images that convey what your channel is about are very prominent in this white 
box. Just like other programs, you'll have the ability to go ahead and change the text. Once you get the text into that box, you can type anything you want there. You'll be able to change the size. You'll be able to change the font, the letter spacing, the line spacing, etc. So you really have a chance to experiment here. Snappa also has different icons and different symbols that you can use. Really take a look through the library of elements that they have available to you. Unlike Canva, it's not going to say pro or free. All of these are free for you to use with the free account. I'm going to choose this arrow mainly because I know that over to the right hand side is where YouTube is going to put a button. Don't know yet what the button's going to say. You can have something like go to my website or claim your free gift or a Facebook image or a Twitter image, but you know that it's going to put it there. What I want to do with this arrow is draw attention to people that there is something there that they can click on in order to get more content from me. Next, I'm going to start adding photos to the actual banner. So you'll notice this is the toolbox photo that I've been using in the thumbnails for this series. Because we made this transparent, this is what it's going to look like on the screen. You can use photos that are you've made transparent using Paint 3D, or you can use photos that already have a background. It's up to you. It's your banner. Just like with other programs, you'll be able to manipulate the photos. You can turn them upside down. You can rotate them all kinds of effects that you can use on your own photos once you've put them onto Snappa. If you're not happy with an image or part of the design, all you need to do is highlight it and go to the top where you see the trash can or the garbage can icon, and that will delete it. You can then move your photos over. You'll see I'm going to adjust the size of this one. I'm going to put a couple of different photos on because I'm trying to convey something about my personality and what kind of lifestyle my channel is trying to convey. Hopefully you can see how easy Canva is to use. You're just going to drop elements onto the design. And then once you drop them in, you have the ability to change them or add effects, anything you like to get it perfect for what kind of message you're trying to send to your target audience. Once you're done with your design, you have the option to save the design so it'll be saved on your Snappa account. I do recommend doing this, so go ahead and make sure you name it, save it. You have the option to share it by using a link, or you have the option to download it. All of the images that you've downloaded will also be saved on your account, so you don't have to worry about finding images over and over again. Once you put them on your account, they will stay there and they'll be available next time you log in. To download, I would suggest you choose one of the top two options. You want to make sure it's a very high quality photo, especially for putting it on YouTube or if you're going to put this on a website or onto your Facebook page. You need to make sure it's a high quality photo so people get a really good impression of you right from the start. Some of the other designs that Snappa has available are YouTube outros. You also have images for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. There's something here that's associated with all of the major social media platforms. What I like about Snappa compared to Canva is that they're already sized and you'll notice the rulers are already there to show you where the TV versus laptop versus mobile device screens are. These are already preset and this is something Canva hasn't done yet. Please remember at the end of creating your design to go ahead and save it and download it onto your own device so you can use it for your different social media platforms. If you enjoyed this demonstration about Snappa, Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Please remember to like and subscribe and as I promised I do have a free gift for you. If you go onto my website, the free gift I have is an ebook, How to Quit Your 9 to 5 Job with High Ticket Affiliate Marketing. This is if you're just a beginner and you haven't quit your J-O-B yet, or if you're already in affiliate marketing, but maybe you're representing low cost items and therefore getting low commissions. High Ticket Affiliate Marketing offers you the opportunity to get higher recurring commissions. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying this series and I'll see you on the next video.